How's it going everybody? It's Joe Miner 4501 and welcome to my personal Vainglory beginner slash pro guide on your favorite one-armed pistol sniper hero, Ringo. Now Ringo comes in three different unique skins. The Shogun Ringo Tier 1 skin. The Shogun Ringo Tier 2 skin. And lastly, the Glorious Shogun Ringo Tier 3 skin. Now Ringo's first ability or A ability is called the Achilles Shot. Ringo fires a trick shot at his target's heal, slowing the target and dealing damage. I recommend overdriving this ability for both weapon power and crystal power builds. Ringo's B or second ability is the Twirling Silver. Ringo slings bullets at his target in a mad flurry, dramatically increasing his attack speed and move speed for duration. Your ultimate ability is a Hellfire Brew. I recommend overdriving this ability only for a crystal power build. When to use your abilities. I recommend using your B ability or your Twirling Silver to finish off turrets or to farm your minions in the lane or in the jungle. A technique to help you farm faster or deal damage to enemies is by stutter stepping, which is to move and attack at the same time. One thing you want to avoid using is using your ultimate on a turret, as for those are generally useless and it could be saved for a team fight later in the match. Here you use your twirling silver to finish off the minions in the jungle. You can use your A ability or your Achilles shot to finish off a minion if you're desperate for farm and the minion is about to die. One thing you want to avoid doing is to clear minions by using your ultimate as for once again that is a waste of your ability and it can be used to help secure a team fight later in the future. Hopefully this can help you know when and how to use your abilities later in a game. Last hitting your lane farm. My favorite technique to use in the beginning of a match is to hit a minion 3 times and wait until a light red bar shows up. The light red bar indicates that the next basic attack or ability that you use to attack the minion will guarantee you a last hit therefore giving you the gold bounty on that minion. As you can see, you can also use your trolling silver to help you farm, as for that will help you hit your minions a lot faster in the lane. Let's take a quick look at some weapon power Ringo gameplay. I use my Achilles shot so that he will be slowed and rooted by our rhyme in order to pick up the kill. This next team fight, I notice my ally junglers invading and tanking out the jewel. I see that the roamer has come up and I use my Achilles shot to finish him off. Now that two of the junglers are dead, there is no threat posed to me so I can freely farm. This next team fight, I rotate towards the enemy jungle as our rhyme took out the roamer and I clean up the jungler. During this time, we start rotating towards the gold mine to capture it. Always take advantage of whenever one or two of your enemies are dead to capture the gold mine or kraken. It is very unlikely for the enemy to try to contest and steal it. Remember to shop right after so that you can make sure your damage or health items are upgraded. This next gameplay is to show you guys what you should do to take advantage of Ringo's Achilles shot. Shoot your Achilles shot towards your enemy and start stutter step attacking by using your twirling silver to shoot and move faster towards your opponent. Be careful under very tempting situations like this. You always want to make sure that you're making the right play here before you end up killing yourself by turret diving too hard. This next fight in the lane, I come towards my allies to try to help pressure the lane as we are planning on taking out the turret. Our rhyme roots the enemy Vox and I shot my Achilles shot to slow him down. I then see the next hero with the lowest health so I took advantage to take him out as well. Since the roamer was close to death I saved my ultimate for last to finish him off, therefore giving us the ace that we needed to finish off this turret. 
This last team fight will show you how the item breaking point works on Ringo. When using breaking point, try to focus it on one of the carries on the enemy team to build your stacks. For each basic attack you use on them, you gain 10 weapon power damage. After I ran out of Adagio's ultimate, I slowly start focusing on the enemy jewel, slowly building more and more stacks onto him and eliminating him. After gaining all those stacks, the weapon damage can deal up to 515. This ace allowed us to push towards the vein crystal, allowing us to win the game. My recommended final build for Ringo would be Sorrow Blade, Breaking Point, Tyrant's Monocle, Aegis, Journey Boots, and Atlas. Let's take a look at some Crystal Power gameplay. With Crystal Power, you want to focus on overdriving your Achilles shot to do burst damage on your opponents instead. You also want to overdrive your ultimate for the maximum burst damage to your enemies as well. During the skank, I waited for my jewel to jump and stun the saw in lane while I was channeling my ultimate, this way preventing the saw escape from the burst damage in my ultimate, allowing us to push the lane and take out the turret. As tempting as it may seem, careful of when and where you plan on using your ultimate as for enemies can take advantage of you while you're channeling your ultimate. Don't risk ending up dying just trying to use your ultimate at the wrong time. In this fight, I noticed that the saw was separated from his team so I took the advantage to take out the saw. With your extra distance with your Achilles shot, you can kite and burst very well with your opponents. I started chasing the saw, using my Achilles shot once more to help take out the saw with the burst damage. In this last team fight, you want to always double check and think ahead before you end up walking yourselves into a gank. Always stay together with your team late game. As you can see, we end up getting ganked by the enemies. In situations like this, you want to try your best to get rid of your most opposing threat. I was able to deal burst damage from my ult onto the fortress since he walked right into that area. I then used my acuity shot to try to slow saw and kite him as he is trying to kill me. After picking him up, we then push the kraken all the way into their base, where we meet up with the enemies once again. After one of the turret falls, we carefully start engaging onto Glaive, as for it is unlikely for us to take multiple turret aggros. We pick up the Glaive and then saw, and as our jewel made its game winning stun on the fortress, we were able to pick up the ace and take home the game. My recommended build to build on Crystal Power Ringo is Alternating Current, Broken Myth, Eve of Harvest, Boots, Aegis, and Metal Jacket. Hopefully you guys have learned a thing or two on how to use and play our favorite one armed gun sniper, Ringo. If you guys really enjoyed this guide and found it helpful, be sure to leave a like and comment down below. Also let me know in the comments on what kind of hero you would like me to make a guide about next. If you guys would like to check out more gameplay, news, or guide videos on Vainglory, then subscribe to my channel as where you will know when a new video is up. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the Halcy Unfold. This channel is brought to you by the Vainglory Invitational Series, a league for gamers made by gamers. Sponsored by Mob Crush and Bam.